Hello, my name is Piers Badnell. I'm a consultant with LIC. Um, I, my area covers southern England and South Wales. Um, my job entails working with discussion groups and individual farmers, um, trying to help them achieve what they're trying to achieve. Um, I take the view that um, we basically we ought to be uh, utilising our natural advantage, which is to grow forage uh, and graze grass. Um, and in that, uh, we work, I work with different systems. I work with autumn block carvers, spring carvers, all year round carvers, and split bog. Fundamentally, what we're trying to do is actually get grass consumed by the right cow, get that through the animal, get her to produce milk solids or milk litres, depending on what contract we're on, and drive profit. And we have a natural advantage in this country of growing forage, so really we ought to try and utilise that. Um, and therefore, I work with, uh, with the groups I work with and individual people on the market. He said I was listening to the radio the other day that we're in uncertain times. Um, certainly there is with Brexit coming up um, and the volatility, price volatility and also the effects of the 2018 year. Um, I think we're always in changing times um, and how a, a business actually reacts to that is, is a mark of their success in being resilient. Um, we have with the volatility price movements of 10p up and down a litre but, and then we also have this year a very dry season um, and how do we cope with that? So businesses need to be resilient, resilient not only to financial pressures, but also uh, pressures outside their control in terms of climate, etc. And I think fundamentally one of the key things is, is having a plan A and a plan B. Um, and that just from what, where you, where, what room you have for manoeuvre. And fundamentally all businesses need to be profitable. One of the key things about being resilient is about actually being prepared for things that are going to happen that you don't have control of. Like this year's the weather. Um, those that have manage it better this year, basically know what stocks of feed they have, what they require and have looked through that and actually gone into the market early uh, to take take cover on some, covering some of that dry matter requirement. So fundamentally it's about knowing your business but really coming back to it, how, coming back to the simple basics of, of the business and making sure that we can actually keep cows fed, well fed and, and productive all the way through. And one of the, the key things that we need to get right this year, 2018 is coming nearly to an end, but we really want to need to keep 2018 in 2018. So at the moment we're talking, I'm talking to clients and groups about uh, feedstocks, uh, body condition, because if we start next year with a poor body condition, that's going to knock on. So we really need to try and keep the effects of 2018 in, in 2018 and then set ourselves up, be that the platform, be that the grazing, be that body condition on cows, etc., be that uh, cash, cash positions, etc. So actually when we start 2019, whatever system we are, we've put ourselves in a good place to actually make the, both the best use of 2019. None of us know what's happening next year, but what we can do is make sure our cows and our systems are in place so we can try and utilise as much as we can and make up for 2018.